the hottest month on record by far, September 2023. Get this map of the temperatures. The poles are going crazy. Let's zoom in on North America. Some of the U.S. got hotter. Some of it got colder. I'm in California. It was cooler here. But look at Mexico. Let's focus on that because it's kind of all in one group. This chart from 1880 to present shows all the September average temperatures. And look at the spike over to the right. Let's zoom in on that. Over five degrees hotter than pre-industrial temperatures. And look, over four degrees hotter just than last year. Let's look into it. All this data is from berkeleyearth.org, a great nonprofit organization trying to give an unbiased perspective on global warming. Check a lot of great data out. What I like about their data too is they have great graphics. All these are their graphics. First off, look at what man-made global warming has done over the last 10 years. 2013 to 2023, it raised 0.36 degrees. The second factor you need to consider is El Nino and La Nina. Back in 2016 was the last big El Nino event. You can see that big spike. We've been in La Nina for a while, but you probably know we're getting back into El Nino. And look, the temperature's rising. That's a big factor on what's going on on the planet right now. The next factor is the solar cycle. And now we've been in a cooling period there too, but now the solar cycle is going up and it's going to get hotter just from that. You add these three factors in with Hunga Tonga eruption. That's a big volcanic eruption that's adding to the temperature. And then finally, we got marine fuel pollution reduction. We're reducing pollutants from ships, and that's actually going to make the planet hotter. So you combine all five of these are all going up. This chart shows the unprecedented temperature growth. You always hear about one and a half C for the whole planet. We're over that. That's three Fahrenheit degrees. When you look just at the land, we're over five Fahrenheit hotter. That's where everybody lives. We're feeling that difference. Most of the heat from the sun is being absorbed in the oceans, and that's why when you look at oceans only, it's two Fahrenheit degree hotter. 90% of the heat is getting absorbed into the oceans. So what's that do? That melts the caps. They have this great data on the sea caps, and you see what an outlier this year is. 2023 is just unprecedented bananas it's gone crazy millions of square miles of ice are gone and they're not coming back we know the cause is fossil fuels how much are we going to burn how hot is it going to get look at some of the other episodes in this series to see how much emissions are how we can cut them and what's going on if these graphics don't motivate you to say the world's getting hotter then you got your head in the sand we have to cut emissions to lower the temperature. We got to have government intervene on this. So who are you going to vote for? Get out and vote. I'm Scott Kipp, and I want to make videos you're interested in. So leave me comments and let me know what you want to know. And subscribe. Care for the future. Vote for the future.